Welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I am building out of Avengers Assemble, and Simeon is building out of Justice League Trinity War. Simeon, tell us about your team. Who got the most points, my man? All right, Justice League Trinity War. Tons of, like, really cool stuff, and uh, turns out it's a lot of high point figures, so... Unless we wanted to play like a 2,000 point game, we couldn't fit everything that was voted for in. But I think the figure that got the most po or the most votes was Martian Manhunter, who was tying it up with a version of Ultraman. There's a few votes for just Crime Syndicate in general, and then there's a few votes for Ultraman himself. Um, of course, being the the much cooler version of Superman. Ah, uh, oh, yes, of but course. yeah, they. Those were the two ties at highest. And then uh, everything else just kind of fell to points because there's a lot of like votes for one or two characters, and I really wanted to field a lot of stuff, but just it would have been a huge game. So uh, starting off on Team Trinity War is good old Super Air Martian Manhunter, who comes in at 300, 200, or 100 points. I'm trying to be cost effective, so he's 100 points for me. Comes in with the PD team ability, 7 range, improved movement through characters, flight, indom, a posing forces subtract 1 from their action total if not already reduced by any other effect. Wow, 100 points for that? Over costed, in my opinion. That should be like a 50 point figure. Um, <laughs> he's got and another trade. play two of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there are many ways to hide in plain sight. He can use phasing, teleport, shape change, and stealth. So he's got a, oh, wow. a pretty impressive dial. No special powers, just those two big traits and the PD team ability. But uh, he's pretty mobile, pretty uh, decent figure overall. And he's got two clicks of regen in case he manages to survive after one hit on his 100-point dial. Uh, hmm. Next up is the second biggest guy on the team. This is Black Adam at 150 points. Uh, he's got all the same stuff as he would at 270, except Invincible. That's the only difference, and four clicks more of health. So for 120 points, you get four clicks, and two of them are Invincible, and two are Impervious. But uh, he starts off with Hypersonic, Invuln, Outwit. He's got two big traits, one is if he's the last character on the team that hasn't been KO'd, his attack value goes up by one. And if it was a named theme team, then it goes up, uh, all of his combat values go up by one instead of just his attack. It's not a named theme team, surprisingly, so it'll just be his attack if he manages to survive. He also has Magic Empowered, which is a really cool trait that I wish all Black Adams and high-costed Mystic team people would have. Uh, it gives him super strength, and then he can't be targeted by Outwit unless the targeting character has the mystical keyword, which is pretty fun. Uh, Mid-dial, he gets uh, two clicks of a special attack power, the Thunder of the Gods. He can use Quake, but his damage value becomes his printed damage value instead of two, which would be three on his lower dial. It's much cooler on uh, his top dial because it's four. And then he has one click of a special speed power that is Charge Flurry. When he uses Charge, he doesn't have his speed value. And if he doesn't carry or hold an object with that movement, he can use Improved Movement, Ignores Blocking Terrain, and Destroys Blocking Terrain as he moves through it. So Ooh. that's a pretty sweet power that I might land on and might be able to use. Uh, he also has Injustice League and Mystic's team abilities. Uh hmm. My second 150-point um, figure is Ultraman from the Fast Forces, which I feel like might be the first time I'm actually playing a Fast Force figure. Uh, he was voted to be play top dial, but um, that would have forced Calder to add 100 points, and I didn't really want to do that because his team already had an advantage being high-point figures <laughs> like this. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, so he's got Syndicate Rules trait. When Ultraman is part of a Crime Syndicate theme team, you get to add one use of theme team prob control to your pool each time an opposing character uses their theme team oh, prob wow. control. That's super fun. Um, 
It's kind of like the Black Widow uh, Captain America duo figure. Does yeah. like similar theme team prop stuff. Um, so on a crime syndicate theme team, that'd be pretty fun. Um, really for Black Widow. To... Uh, keep going, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Oh, well, Black Widow actually. Um, I don't know if it's that figure, but the Black Widow in that set, when she uses theme prob, she uses your opponents instead. If that's mm. what you're thinking of. That might be what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's got. Ooh, he starts with a special defense power that is ruler of his earth. He can use impervious and mastermind when the result for impervious is four, reduce damage by three instead of two. And then, of course, on a five, six, it's reduced to zero. Uh, one special damage wow. power is whole dial, and that is secret kryptonite recharge. When this click is revealed due to taking damage from an attack, stop turning the dial, give Ultraman a free action, and destroy an unheld object within four squares. When you do, Ultraman can use regeneration as free, which is pretty fun. And it's mm. necessary because on that click, he's earthbound with a 9 for 2, so he's not doing a whole lot. But he's got 7 range, indom, flight. Um, mm. So when they really started making all the characters have indom, if they were over a certain point value. Uh, last but not least is good old subterfuge token Lux Luthor, also Lexi, 7 range. Lexi. He's got, starting with his uh, charge super strength instead of his running shot pulse wave, um, he starts with a single trait right under their noses, and this is Lex begins the game with a subterfuge token on his card. When he has that on his card, opposing characters can only target them if they began their turn adjacent to him. When Lex Luthor targets an opposing character with an attack, remove all subterfuge tokens from his card. Then he has a speed power... That is back underground, and when that click is revealed, I add a subterfuge back to his card. So that's the only way he can get him again. Otherwise, he just starts with one. Um, Lex Luthor also has two clicks of the Syndicate is bad for business damage power. He can use leadership and outwit. When he uses leadership and succeeds, he may instead remove an action token from a friendly character with the Injustice League keyword within three squares, and regardless of point value. That's all four figures on my team. They're all being played at their lowest value, so um, we'll see if their lowest value is enough to cut it against Calder's stuff, but I'm fairly confident that they'll have at least a shot, because uh, they're definitely they're definitely some like beefy uh, attackers, in my opinion. Well, all right. Let's see. Let's go into my team. Um, character that got the most votes was Captain America. Clocking in at his highest points at 150, uh, Cap has shield deflection angles, so he ignores elevated terrain and outdoor blocking terrain when he uh, throws his shield to school. Uh, he has two traits here. First one is it's an Avengers world. Captain America and adjacent friendly characters with a lower point value in the Avengers keyword can use leadership. If they are named Iron Man or Thor, they don't have to be adjacent or a lower point value. Guess what? I don't have any Iron Man or Thors on the team. His other trait is leading by example, energy shield deflection. When another friendly character with the Avengers keyword uses leadership and the result is a six, remove an action token from Captain America. That's pretty cool when you have like a full Avengers team, but when it's just uh, him and Rick, he's probably going to get a token removed anyway if that other character is rolling a six. So, whatever. And then his special damage power he has for his first three clicks of his life is Close Combat Expert and Empower. Very simple, straightforward Captain America. He, um, he has a lot of points. I like I like this Captain America, but he, is, he certainly is not. He wasn't great then. He hasn't aged well now. Uh, next up is Ragnarok, a character I've actually always wanted to own from this set and never had the chance. So he just, if you look at it, he's got a stacked 200 point dial, that running shot, energy explosion, a five damage, shape change, and third is like it's awesome. His trait, which will totally come into play this game, uh, Ragnarok modifies his attack and damage values by plus one when targeting a character with the Asgardian or Avengers keyword. How many Asgardians and Avengers you got on your team there, Simeon? I've got a, a big old zero. Oh, surprisingly. Shucks. Noah's Guardians or Avengers in Trinity. And then, what a shame. 
Love Shame. And then besides that, he has a special defense power on his seventh click, which is Thunder is Mine. Ragnarok can use Impervious. When his power is first revealed, stop turning the dial, and all opposing characters adjacent to Ragnarok are knocked back a number of squares equal to the damage dealt to Ragnarok this action. His power and its knockback can't be ignored. So even if you have charge, he's pushing you. Mm. Pretty cool. I really dig that. And then next is uh, Arcade. Sadly, as you can see, we are not on Arcade's arena. So his first trait uh, and all his subsequent powers are useless. Let me just yeah. tell you what, what could have happened. Uh, would have been able to like, shoot through people's squares and you know teleport around starting areas. Uh, and then ignore all but one damage. But instead, he just has mind control, he's got some poison, some mastermind, and some perplex. It's very different 70 points uh, than it would be if we were on Arcade's Arena, for sure. Yeah, he's kind of like uh, an expensive support piece now, whereas yeah, that's on his other is. dial, on the right map, he becomes uh, pretty crazy. Yep. Well, that's Arcade. That was nice and quick. Next up is Rick Jones. Oh wow! Even if I try to try to use my mouse, scroll up, make it bigger here. Okay. Uh, so he has this big trait: summon the heroes I grew up reading about. At the beginning of the game, place a Captain America bystander token, as included with this card, adjacent to Rick Jones. When a bystander token placed by Rick Jones is KO'd, place a bystander token included with this card adjacent to Rick Jones, as per the following. So he goes Cap, Namor, Blazing Skull. And then goes back to Cap, Namor, Blazing Skull. Pretty simple. Cap dies, plays with Namor, Namor dies, Blazing Skull, Blazing Skull dies, back to Captain America. We just keep going. He has a trait called the Galactic Burst of Immobilizing Light. Once per game, when Rick Jones isn't on his first click, give Rick Jones a double power action, so this will push him. He has no Adam. Uh, when he is adjacent to an opposing character, Give all opposing characters on the map an action token. For each opposing character you can't give an action token to, deal that character one unavoidable damage. Pretty cool. And then he has his special attack power for his first three clicks. That blast came from my mind. Rick Jones can use penetrating psychic blast and telekinesis. Pretty cool, Mr. Jones. Pretty cool. And that is my team. You can look at those pogs whenever you want to. Those pogs do actually have little, I don't know which, which one to call it, little things you can like, whatever. Watermark? Yeah, yeah they have, uh, they're an actual token. Goodness gracious. I don't know why. Oh, it's like so yeah, they can actually be placed. Hard for me to like get that out. But uh, all right, Simeon, you want map. Put us on this. Secret entrance to the Batcave map. Yes. So why don't you go ahead and start us off? A waterfall, and I don't know what those if those arrows. It's a like, special terrain that you don't. Into I think it you probably like moves you one square or something. Yeah. Probably just like the water is flowing. I do like how like no one would know this is the secret entrance to the Batcave because there's like burnout tire marks that leave straight towards this water. <laughs> And nobody would investigate that to be like, is there a car in there? And no, then, of course not. No, yeah, no one Joseph, would ever do that. Joseph Gordon-Levitt just like wanders in. It's like, oh, I was just investigating. Now. Oh, it's the Batcave. Well, that's interesting. Um, so I've got four characters that have flight. No special powers that allow anybody to, to do any carrying or anything. So this is going to be just four action tokens of me moving these guys out uh martian manhunter is the only one with stealth um although lex luther can kind of block some line of fire so we'll probably use those two things to my advantage if we can uh let's see martian manhunter can move seven so we'll say up here seems too far and uh, two three four five six seven Yeah, maybe we'll do that, though. We'll go here with Martian Manhunter. Let's see. So he'll go here. We'll put... 
put Lex here. And then I'll park Black Adam there and Ultraman there. That means that Calder has to get along this like direct diagonal if he wants to shoot. And I don't think he's quite that fast. I don't know. I guess Rick Jones does have TK. You could potentially do it. You could try and shoot my Ultraman. I also forgot what the uh, Crime Syndicate team ability is. It's not the typical like outwit thing. I honestly don't remember either. If you want to like look it up, that's fine. Um, but all right, as far as my turn goes, got a sidestep. Captain America, let's move him there for right now. No need to roll leaderships just yet. Let's see. Let's see. Put you there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad idea, actually. Like, it's a pretty good idea. Well, that's sure, let's do it. Rick Jones, go ahead. We'll TK. What's his face? Mr. Narok. Greg, Mr. Narok here. Um, let's see. Before we do that, yeah, let's just TK him first. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go there. We're still within the seven squares that he needs to see, sure. We'll perplex up is, let's see, what's his, whatever. We'll perplex up his damage value. We'll try to get that big hit on what's his face, Ultraman. Hmm. Well, I've got a big ol' 17, so... All right. Crime Syndicate team ability allows me to basically theme team prob without a theme team. It's like give an action oh, okay. token to re-roll an attack or re-roll a dice mm. or something. Okay, cool. So that'll be a 12 for 6. Rolling against your 17. Uh, that will hit an 18. An 18. So I do have my well. almost 50-50 impervious roll. Um, yeah, not quite 50 50 but I have that I also have mastermind trying mm. to think if there's anyone that I'd rather take the damage because my guess is no you're dealing 5 and impervious is my best reducer so I'm dealing 6 I can flex it up oh you're dealing 6 so I definitely yeah. just I'm going to try and get my impervious roll to land here a three nice. will do nothing, so I reduce by two and take four. Right. Correct. Ah. Uh, Sidestep. Ah. Combat reflexes. <laughs> Good. I'll sidestep Captain America. I'll move Arcade. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Nah, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. We might as well move his full speed value there. Well, Captain America Pog also move up. All right, here we go. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Uh, so first thing we'll do is roll leadership with Lex. That's a five, which is what I needed for my impervious. Uh, so mm. fun thing with Lex is he's a ruler, and so is Ultraman and Black Adam. So I can remove 
action tokens from a bunch of people on my team. Um, I'm thinking that... I think Black Adam's probably the best one to remove one from. I always liked how you could leadership off of rulers. It's like, I'm the leader of this group of rulers. Just seemed kind of silly, but... I guess some rulers work together. Okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> is Ragnarok protected outwit in any way? He he has nothing to protect him at all. Okay, I didn't think you so. You can feel like, no, you can't That's use I, anything. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to check. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything to get around that impervious right now. So I'll have to get rid of that. Um... So what we're going to do, Lexel out with the Impervious, and then Black Adam is going to make a close attack. He's going to Hypersonic. It'll be one, two, three, four, five. We'll go right there. Hypersonic five. And attempt to punch. Okay. Yeah. I have a 10 so attack. I still have shape change. I still have shape change. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get rid of Impervious, so I still get shape change. Oh, that was all walkie do here. Much better, yes. No idea what that was. Oh, one. Alright. Alright. Ah, good. It's eight. That will hit me for how much, Mr. Adam? He's doing a whole three damage, because he's a big, tough guy. One, two, three. Okay. And what's his dial look like now? Um, I think we're just going to like sink a bunch of attacks into him this turn. So I think that we will outwit his invuln invulnerability with uh, Black Adam. Yes. Attempt to break away to finish my hyper... Oh, I, I have to break away. Well, you can't first. do that first. You have to break away first. Yeah, so... 8 speed. I can move 3 squares. We'll go 1, 2, 3. We'll just go 1, 2, 3. We'll do that. And now we'll outwit the invulnerability. Okay. Um, I'm with you. Yeah, that makes way more sense to do it that way. Let's... Got seven range. Almost across the board. Black Adam's the only one that breaks my seven range uh, streak. So, we'll running shot with good old Martian Manhunter here. Long finger Martian Manhunter, as he's known. Coming down off of the elevated. Uh, he'll be a 10 attack into your 17. Okay. Oh. And that will hit. Just that barely. Is a seven. Just barely. For how which much? Is, which is good for me. Another 3 damage. Oh, there's the, the big old stop click. So I can't do anything about those defense powers. Uh, that's just no. impervious with impervious. 16. Yeah. I should have saved my precision strike for that. Um, well, we might as well follow up. We'll have Ultraman try and get some revenge by sidestepping down two clicks. Or two, two squares. <laughs> Uh, he'll sidestep okay. two squares. He'll get the benefit of the PD team ability from Martian Manhunter. So even Ooh. with my nine attack, I only have to hit a 15 D6. defense. Yeah, 15 defense. Pretty good. You got it. So I get a big old impervious roll here. Ooh, 16. 86. Mm. Not a fan of that. Simeon um, wouldn't know what it's like to succeed at Impervious. No, I really don't. Uh, let's have... 
Lex Luthor copy the PD team ability because mm. he could have done that last turn. Uh, he will clear. Uh, or do I want to try and get my leadership to take off? Yeah, I'll actually move him to body block Black Adam. Okay. Because he still has his subterfuge token. Uh, that'll be my turn. And I have no perplex. I used both my outwits. I feel good mm -hmm. about those. I think I did something. Right. Okay, sounds good. In turn, don't even roll any leadership. No one is really adjacent right now. Let's see. We can see Ultraman, which is cool, I guess. And he is, he is double token. That's not bad. What is he at right now? 17 combat reflex. We need, we need eight though. I don't feel, I don't feel particularly cash money about needing an eight. A bit of a bummer. Go ahead and sidestep our little Captain America pog back there. Let's see if I somewhat plan. No, way too far out. Okay. Did not somewhat plan anything very well at all. All right. Let's go ahead. Perplex up the damage value on Captain America with Arcade. Uh -oh. I think our biggest threat uh, is going to have to be Black Adam because he is the only one not double token. So we'll have Rick Jones, TK Cap. Let's see. What's the spot they can both see? It's six. Okay, so it'd be this square right here. Yeah. Go ahead and move Captain America six squares. Let's see, one, two, five, six. Actually, you can see this one. You go six to there. You can sidestep two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Can't see Black Adam. It'll cross through Lex Luthor Square. You're on a higher elevation. Oh, that's true, you're right. Yep. Alright, so that's cool. We'll give Rick Jones token for that. We'll take a push. Oop. Ooh. And before Captain America sidesteps, uh, for that action, we'll have Rick Jones perplex up. We already did his damage value once. Do his attack value once, just to make sure. So he's a 13 for 4. Shooting at Black Adam. Okay. Ooh, that'll hit. That will definitely hit. And my prob... I don't think it can see. I feel like that cross is there. Ooh, you have seven range? Yeah, I do have seven range. No, I think you can do that. I don't think it crosses. Alright, I'll go ahead and prob it. Otherwise, I'll... Yeah, you can take it straight to the center and it won't it won't cross. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A crit miss, you say? Ah, oh, an okay. eight, you say? So knockback, huzzah! How much damage? Four. Uh four. So probably two. Yeah, taking two damage. Do you want to knock me back two squares? Yes, I do. Do you want to knock me back? Do you want to knock me back? Okay. Oh, wait a second. Knockback is like this. You go back to this way. Oh, uh, okay. Here. Yeah. I see. I see how yeah. it is. All part of the plan. All part of the plan. What's uh, Black Adam rocking now here? Still 17, huh? Yeah, still 17 and... in Vuln. Okay. All right. See Captain America that token. Let's, uh, let's have Ragnarok go ahead and try to roll. You need a big eight. Four damage. Ten blasts, though. See if we can make it happen. Ragnarok says, nope, oh. it's a seven. So close. Painfully close, though. All right. I think Good that Ragnarok. just killed me. It's second yeah, action token. Yeah. And let's clear the Captain America pog, and let's clear... What's his face? Arcade, and it's your go. All right, leadership with Lex Luthor. 
off the map. A five. I succeed. And you said that I can, with this special Lex Luthor, due to his wording, I can uh, instead remove an action token from a friendly character, which he is friendly to himself, with the injustice yeah. keyword within three squares and regardless of point value. Yes. So I will take off a purple. It's it such a weird noise. <laughs> yeah, I think it ran over a bunch of stuff. Um, there's nothing like worth outwitting on Ragnarok style. I really wish I could get rid of that impervious, but um, everyone is double tokened except Lex and Black Adam. They both have super strength. Black Adam has that special quake power. I think Black Adam's going to use his charge flurry because this will probably be the only chance that he gets to use it. be really cool if I had a perplex right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I think I can actually get there. Uh, Cap has. Does he have energy shield? He he gets combat he, he reflexes the, later. Yeah, he gets combat reflexes later. Hmm. Let's. Waste my outwit with Lex Luthor. Ragnarok's double token. So yeah, let's uh, outwit Caps. Uh, I don't really want to do toughness, but I can't see him with Black Adam. Um, because I'm pretty sure if I hit you for three, you'll just still be on toughness. You'll take two clicks and still be on toughness. Uh, we'll go ahead and outwit. Yeah, we'll just outwit toughness with Lex. Consequences. Okay. We'll see how yeah. like it rolls out. Um, Black Adam can full move charge, and currently he has eight speed. So he's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right there. Ooh. Right in Captain America's square. I don't even know if this orange terrain is the same elevation as the rest or what. I don't know either. I stop on Super that. Super weird. Um, so all I have is a 10 attack, so it's a right, 10 into 10 an 18. 18. Uh, my prob is definitely not going to hit this one. It's definitely yeah. going to. So I just have two chances to hit an 8. First attack. A crit hit, you say. Oh, there's a double fives. Ooh, I don't know. You got it. So I'll be uh, one, two, three, straight through. Huh. Should knock him back, but then I don't get to finish my flurry. You don't get a second attack. Do you want to? Uh, it would probably deal more damage. The fall damage would probably deal more because I need a nine. But we'll go ahead and swing with Black Adam anyhow. Okay. Yeah, we won't do the knockback. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It's a, it's a crit hit. Did you see that, Galder? Did you? Uh-huh, uh uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, just making sure. Hey, can you keep your cheating elsewhere, please? <laughs> uh, let's see. The only... Okay, so Black Adam has... He still has Outwit. I don't know if there's any... I mean, Exploit would probably be a smart thing. Lex has 7 speed. Don't know if I want to give up my Subterfuge token. I can't get there anyhow. That's 4 squares, yeah. Uh, Black Adam will just outwit Captain America's. Yeah, we'll go with exploit. Um, okay. Just so you're not dealing penetrating damage to me. And mm. I don't think it's worth 
Lex losing his subterfuge token to do anything to anybody this turn, so he'll end up clearing. Yeah. Ultraman and Martian Manhunter will also end up clearing. Okay. Uh, no need to really do anything. I believe it's the start of the turn. So we are going to go for this fun shot. I'm going to have Arcade perplex up the attack value of the Captain America Pog. And we'll have Rick Jones perplex up the damage value of the Captain America Pog. It'll oh, sidestep. No. And it will... Uh, it's an 11 for 3. 11 for 3. Yep, yours in 4. All right, yeah. Does it Let's have do it. range? It does. I, I had to double check on HC Realms. Like I knew it had range, but the bear token doesn't show it. But it has four range. Okay. It, yeah, it shows four range on Rick's card. Yeah. All right. Like, for some reason, like, I don't see it anywhere because the stupid bear logo. Whoever these bear people are, they suck, and I hate <laughs> them. Uh, the dumb bear logo has a bolt next to it, but like, there's no rent yet. It's dumb. Yeah, uh, 11 for he's three. Got bear range. Yeah. Against Black Adam. Crit hit from the Captain America. Four. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I really wanted to like just hope for a great attack on I'll that thing. Crit so, missed, you'd get a uh, name. I would. I would get a name war kind of next to Rick. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. Uh, Captain America, I guess, will go for just punching. You can't use exploit. Watch this be a crit miss. No, a five. What a terrible roll this turn. Of all the rolls I get to make, we get some bad ones. All right, cool. Wow. Wow. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we'll move Arcade to here because I want to. It's probably not good, but I'm going to do it. All right, and then let's clear Ragnarok and Rick. See what happens, I guess. That's all we got. Oh, boy. It's a real shame. I don't like it, but... Lex is going to roll those leadership. Are our moves. Won't do anything. Good. Correct. Um, so Lex with the calculator ability. I have so many team abilities on this team. Superman, Enemy, Injustice League, Crime Syndicate, Mystics, PD, Calculator. And you don't know what any of them do. I don't know what Injustice League does. I want to say it's Brotherhood. Uh, uh no, it's when you roll. It is, yeah. No, you're right. It's okay. kind of higher. And then yeah. Superman Enemy is some weird outwit power. Yeah, there's have... two people. The highest point person you can use that with. Yeah. Um. So Lex is gonna copy the PD team ability. Uh, let's see how I want to do this. Ultraman could just shoot at. Let's see. Yeah, there's not a great positioning way there. Uh, Ultraman could just shoot at good old Arcade, because he only needs a 7 if he shoots at Arcade. Um, let's go ahead and start with Martian Manhunter. I'm not sure exactly where he wants to running shot to, but he's going to try and shoot Ragnarok. So, maybe we'll actually move Lex back towards him. Seven range, precision strike for three damage. I just really want that precision strike to get around the impervious. Uh, I guess Manhunter's going to have to come out of hindering. So he's just going to Running shot to there. That's one, two, three, Time to see four squares. Tabletop simulator is any more balanced than roll 20, and that will let Simeon roll some fives and fours this turn. No, no, no. I, I got it! I only need I a five to hit. Because I've got yeah, yeah, yeah. PD on your 16. Yeah, it's low. It's going to miss. It's still going to hit. Well, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because it's. Spikes, he takes one no matter what. 
Down to a 15 now for Ragnarok. He's, he's going to get his world Ragnarok, I tell you what. <laughs> Not uh, going to be good. The only way that I could get... Um, a double PD off is if I move Lex out of the way. And I really don't need it. It's just fun to do, but I really don't need you to be a 13 defense to hit. Um, mm -hmm. Man, maybe I want... I don't know. Yeah, Ragnarok still has high damage output, so... Uh, I don't know how I want to do this, because I don't really want to get rid of Lex's subterfuge tokens yet. Um, although at this point in the game, I feel comfortable doing it. So, Ultraman will just sidestep two squares to here, and he will take a shot at... Let's go Arcade, because then I only have to hit a 15. I guess it's like okay. a 15 either way, but... Uh, need a six to hit. So I got a nine attack. Ah, jeez. How much damage are you doing? Three. Ah, jeez. One, two, three. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Ah, I don't know. Ah, I don't want to mastermind it. But, like, I want to do something with Arcade. But, like, oh, I don't know. Do I just, <laughs> do I just let him die? <laughs> oh, gosh. No. Oh. Oh, we're going to kill Ragnarok. I hate to do it to him. We're going to mastermind it all to him. Okay. Three. Yeah, so he takes one, two instead. Yeah, he dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ugh, people are gonna hate that move. Black Adam is double tokened. Arcade has a token. Rick Jones is token free. Um, Lex Luthor is going to outwit Arcade's outwit, and Black Adam is going to outwit. All right, now listen here, you son of a bitch. That's not what I thought was gonna happen. All right. <laughs> I'm very now I'm now I'm livid. <laughs> livid. I livid, I tell you. Livid. Uh, <laughs> you saw it, really. You bastard. Is that what you were planning on doing? Yeah, that was the whole plan, bro. <laughs> I just took a shot in the dark because I thought that would be Dang it. that'd be exactly what I would do. You uh, scumbag. To get I through some of these know. reducers. It sucks. It um, sucks. Black Adam's going to outwit the uh, precision strike on the Captain oh, America pog. And he'll clear. You suck. you suck. Mega balls, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, I should have just taken arcade i guess i thought would lex have just charged and got uh what's his face if i wouldn't have masterminded the damage um so you just would have killed right now well the problem is like his attack was kind of low but yeah his damage is like fours and fives and stuff with the psychic blast yeah. so i might have just outwitted the psychic blast but no i probably if ragnarok would have survived yeah. i probably would have thrown another attack towards him Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. What do we want to have happen? He kind of like ruined a bunch of my freaking plans, dude. All this crap. All right. Let's see. What's everybody rocking here? You got that going on. You got that going on. Awful targets to try to mind control. That's for sure. They're both bad. Um. Cap can't sidestep. The Captain America Pog can't. Let's uh, perplex up Captain America Pog's uh, attack value, or sorry, damage value with Rick. We have to try getting damage through. Let's have Rick uh, TK himself. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hang there in there. Let's pop him here. 
Ah. And then let's have Captain America let's see, sidestep one, two, whatever. We're still gonna shoot Black Adam here. Uh, it's 10 to 17 for three. So it's up. Don't do me like that dice. That will hit a 17. Thank goodness. I am a 17 for three damage. All right. For three damage. So that'll I'll take one. Of course, we get me off my super cool charge click. Not let me ignore the whatever damage and say Cap dies from pushing. And then you gotta make Namor, Namor, crap, he's a dolphin, he can't fly. That sucks. Uh, darn, <laughs> right that. Can you swim Not the that waterfall? Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Um, one, two, three, four, five. But we can get there. Oh, yeah, but it's against what's the fuck it. That sucks. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's go for that. All right, we're going to perplex up. Let's say I oh, was damaged to two. Uh, let's do his attack value still. So charge one, two, three, four, five to there. Try trying to target Dr. Manhattan first, I guess. Who? Oh, sorry, Dr. No, Martian Manhunter. Whatever, <laughs> Dr. Manhattan. Martian Manhunter. All Dr. guys that come from Martian understand. Hunter. I don't know. Is he a DC character? No one even likes Martian Dr. Manhunter. Dr. Manhunter. Shake change. Uh, let's see. Big no. five, which means we have to go for the 19 defense Ultraman here. Which is yes. real change. Oh, we need an eight. Wow. Wow. A seven. It's exactly. But you know what we could have done? Nothing. Because we already used our. Could have pushed uh, Arcade and outwitted my combat reflexes. Um, yeah, but you got outwit, you scumbag. Yes, I did. Yes. Gonna clear Arcade and Captain America. Toughness, huh? And we'll say it is your go. Toughness, huh? Uh, Captain America is now on his combat reflexes click. I can actually see him with Lex. So that seems like a good plan there. Um, Ultraman swinging on uh, Namor needs an 8. Doesn't get a lot better with Martian Manhunter doing it. Um, this would be a great time to have like a poison piece, but... Yeah. Poison piece, ignore toughness. We'll go ahead, yeah. Well, I've got an outwit still. Um, okay. Sure. We'll go with Ultraman. Well, first we'll, we'll roll leadership with one die. Nope. Oh, <clears throat> just one. Thank you, Martian Manhunter. <laughs> Jeez. I hate Dr. Manhattan now. Okay. It was like a three. Martian And it like rolled up his leg <laughs> and he set it back okay. down as a six. Um, right. So He's I can take one off of character. Ultraman. He's the same points as Martian Manhunter, so I can do either. I feel like maybe look at uh, Ultraman's dial. Oh, he's not doing great, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of Martian Manhunter because he is doing great. Uh, Martian Manhunter. Yep. Nothing super exciting. He's just going to try and punch. Uh, Martian yeah. Manor is going to try and punch the uh, the Aquatic Man. Hey, Namor. Yeah. Need a seven. Ah, nice. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. Not a direct diagonal. That's weird. What is the direct diagonal? Oh, Lex Luthor is the direct diagonal. Lex Luthor. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and prob it with Martian Manhunter. Okay. I'm guessing I probably won't use my prob oh, for anything else. Yes. Yes. 
Mias. Uh... Oh, baby! Oh, baby, don't call it a comeback! That's what I like to see. <laughs> that is what I like to see. Uh... Yo, the damage is all of a sudden. Yikes! That's Let's... what I like to see. Let's... That's what I like to see. Out with uh, Captain America's defense. You can and... try. You can try. Which defense? DSC or uh, combat his combat reflexes? Yes. DSC, I assume. But oh, uh, oh interesting. interesting. Uh, Namor. I think we'll just perplex his attack down with Martian Manhunter. Ooh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. <laughs> All right. Um. So Lex outwitting defense. Yep. Good old Black Adam. Yep. Oh yeah. Dwayne Johnson is going to flurry with a try. ton attack. I could also try and quake you, but you have charge. Yeah, roll. charge. You, you're okay, you have charge. Yeah. And counter reflexes. I need a seven. Here we go. You're going to get it, boy. You ain't going to get Uh-oh. it. Ooh, you ain't going to get it, boy! You ain't going to get it! The dice have turned on me. As Calder predicted. You ain't gonna get it! Sorry. Sorry for those headphone listeners. <clears throat> oh, man. Um... Mm. Oh, baby. Mm. Let's go ahead and... We'll attempt to punch Namor... So I know this is asking a lot because I need an 8 now. But we're going to attempt to punch Namor with Ultraman. I feel like if I just get enough attacks out, one of them will be good. Hey! Right, he got that one. Got Namor. Uh, which means he turns into Blazing Skull next to Rick. Okay. All lime green Blazing Skull. Yeah. Pepper. It's a very strange dial. Um, you already used my outwit. Missed both my flurries. Uh, Martian Manhunter crit missed. I'm trying to think if it'd be worth it. To... I think Captain America is kind of tied up. I don't know what Rick Jones does offensively, but I think I could just attempt to punch Arcade this turn with Lex with no ill effects. So, yeah, we'll do fourth action charge with no heavy object. Uh, yeah, we'll just charge 10 attack into a 16 Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I'm being silly. I'll shoot at you and PD your defense down because I have seven. Ah, there you go. So there you go. I need a five, which I've rolled. Goodness, hey, goodness. Okay. It's so rolling a five. bunch of double fives. One, two, three. You want to do knockback? Um, one, two, three. What's Arcade's range? Seven. Seven. Uh, see you no matter what, I think. Yeah, it's not going to matter. Yeah. Um, we'll leave him where he is. Okay. And I perplexed down, smartly perplexed down Namor's attack. Uh, mm -hmm. so You're very smart. That's my, whole, that's my whole turn. That was a very good turn. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, who hit Black Adam? I have Mystic's team ability. It was the Captain America Pog. He should have died. He did die. Even even without Mystic, I guess I pushed him to death. But yeah, he would have died anyways because of Mystic. I don't know, wait, who hit Black Adam when he was all the way over there? That's a good question. Um... Might have been, uh, wasn't Ragnarok? He hit Ultraman. Wasn't oh, Ragnarok? It was Captain America. Captain America should be on one less actually. Still seventeen, but you're right. Yeah. Oh well. It was Captain America. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I'll change his dial. You're right. All right. Okay. 
Cool, right on. My go, let's see, probably just going to kill Mr. Adam, I suppose. You let's attempt to. Perplex up Captain America's attack value by one with Rick. And let's go for the big six. Oh, just barely. Just barely got the big six, baby. Mm. Barley. Mystic senses say... Oh, yeah? A five. Ha, ha, ha. I really, really should have dodged it with mystic senses there. So how much, right, how much damage are you doing? Three? Uh, two? two exploits. Two exploit. One, One, two. One, just two. enough. Mystical. All right. We'll sidestep Captain America over to here for right now. And then let's see what can we do, what can we do, what can we do. Some cool things we can actually do here. Arcade got some outwits. Um, let's see, we made an attack, so he can't oh, yeah. use subterfuge. To subterfuge to cool. the card. What's the. That's his thing, his leadership outwit. I can outwit his outwit if I want to. I think it's the only outwit on your team, so sure. We'll use Arcade to outwit Lex Luthor's outwit, I guess. He's bad, but fine. And then let's uh, let's have Arcade shoot uh, Ultraman, I guess, for one damage. Seems like fun. I don't like that. Uh, that will hit a uh, 15, so it misses that 8 attack, though. Sure is great. Yeah, that... Yeah. Granted 8 attack. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. Yeah, it's not good. Well, let's just, uh... Yeah, let's have Blazing Skull just face everybody again. 1, 2, 4, 5. That's all he can do right now. Oop. Oh, it's clear, Rick. No need to be pushing people anymore. We'll say it's your go. All right, outwitted my outwit. Or your power, I guess. Your yeah, leadership. my leadership, all that jazz. Um. All right, so he's moved. Jay. I wish Martian Manhunter had like plasticity traded instead of. Uh, Is he not? He's got phasing, shape change, and stealth. Oh, he does ignore characters, though. Okay. That's about to say, yeah. With phasing teleport, what are you talking about? So he also is just phasing teleport or ignores characters. I mean, yeah, it he's does. also just yeah. got ignores characters. Rick Jones has yeah. energy shield right now. ESD, baby. ESD. Ha. Okay. Ha. Uh, uh, I think Martian Manhunter is just going to. Running shot to here. Okay. And uh, shoot at the blazing skull. 10 into a 16. Oh, going for the bog. Yeah, go for it. Baby Christmas. Oh, no, I'll hit that. Uh, he'll turn into Captain America next to Rick Jones. And then Lex Luthor. Oh, he's got charge. He doesn't have running shot. Uh, charge. Um. That's okay. I don't need the PD. I really want it, but um, we'll just shoot ten into the fifteen. On oh no! Arcade. Oh no! Poor arcade. All right. Oh, that was so close. Oh, not... just barely. Just barely. Uh, but yes, that'll be all she wrote for Mr. K here. All right. And then... He's got four range. I'll outwit Captain America's sidestep. Mm, and... Deep. I'll perplex down his happiness. Um... <laughs> I'll perplex his damage to a one. Okay. Okay. Just yeah. in case 
you want to TK him or something. Some wacky, yeah, about to say. All right. Uh, then I'll clear Ultraman. And that's all I have this turn. Okay. All right. See what we can do here. Target you. And target you. And target you. Captain America's in the way. Let's move Captain America. One, two, three, four. Sure. One. Let's move Captain America there. Next turn, get a punch you. It's fine. Rick Jones will perplex up his own damage value and triple target pen blast. Oh, guys. No. Shape change on Martian Manhunter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll see what we get here. Aha. Yes. A 14. Does anyone have a 14 <laughs> defense? Live uh, it. Surprisingly, no. I. L I V I D livid. Uh, Captain America, he'll just move all the way to there, giving him and Rick Jones some potential leaderships off each other. And we'll say it is your go. That sucks. <laughs> and uh, I hate it. Leadership with Lex. Yeah, that's right. It's a one. Yeah, that's right. Uh. Hmm. All right. All right. See what happens. See what happens. Interesting. Um. I think we'll be okay as is. So we're gonna try and try and take Rick Jones down a notch. Uh, let's. So he's in hindering with energy shield. So he's a whopping 20, 20 right now. I can perplex and PD that down to an 18, and I can outwit energy shield so that he's only, let's see, he'd be a 16 with all that going on. And, and then I still a need a 7 armor. with Ultraman to hit. Correct. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Huh. I think I want to perplex Captain America's damage down again, but no, we'll we'll do that. We'll use Lex to outwit Rick Jones's energy shield. Okay. We will perplex. Yeah, we'll perplex his defense down. So he's mm. a 17 down to a 16. Uh, Lex is still copying PD, so it's a 15 plus hindering back up to a 16. Ultraman has a 9. I need a 7. Mm. Which is sad. I, hate all, I hate all of this. That it's is sad happening with, right like, now. With so I much still don't like reducing. Yeah. With all of that, still. You don't have a 9 attack, though, because you're a huge baby, and you hit it. Uh, 1, 2, 3. Ah! All right. Hurting a little bit. Hurting a little bit. Not gonna lie. A little sad on the inside. Um, Just a little. I have to clear both of these oh, guys. Good. Good. Whoops. All right. And yeah, that's so, all the stuff I could do that turn. Now we can use Cap's cool leadership. Uh, hugely important Captain America leadership. Oh boy, six. Got to take the token off Rick. And then a hugely, hugely important Rick Jones leadership. If we get a six, we got to take both off of Cap. That's a two. That sucks, but we still get one off Rick, which is good. Which means we can triple target incapacitate your entire team. Simeon, roll that shape change. Oh, incapacitate. Shape change yes. says... Nice. That's a one. We're giving everybody a token. Yeah, and ten. Super go. senses says. We're a loser. Oh, still getting the token. Nice, nice. Pretty good, Rick. Not you know 
the greatest, but it's pretty good. It's pretty helpful a little bit. Um, slow him down a bit. That's nice. Uh, so now Captain America gets to go for the big punch on Martian Manhunter there. Uh oh. It's not right. Get shape changed, man. Oh, he's th he's not punching. He's throwing a shield. Okay. Shape he's changed. No, he's punching. Oh, he's what are you talking about? Of course he's punching. Oh, the bison. He's right next Captain to you. America. Oh, I thought you meant the gracious. big Captain America. I mean, that's that's fair. That's pretty away. valid. Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty valid criticism of swords. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to say that one dies or now we'll just let him be alive. I think he's better than Namor. Um, and then we'll clear. Big Captain America, and it's your go. Okay. Uh, what is Rick Jones doing Rick nowadays? 16. 16. Captain America yes, has that traded ESD, so that's not fun to deal with. Uh, leadership with Lex says... Never heard someone complain so much about energy shield reflection. It's amazing. <laughs> um... You, know, you can just move next to him. You don't want to deal like with leopard. it. Uh, let's... Okay. Go this ahead game is already and... dated. In a few years, it'll be even more dated because you said Black Leopard. <laughs> People are like, like yeah. who was Black Leopard? In the hell? Like, what does that have to do with anything? Yeah. Try uh, to keep these timeless. Uh, they're so old, they're timeless. Come on. Let's outwit Rick Jones's. You scumbag. Da, 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 da. He can't have scumbag. a super long dial, and he's on click five. Let's outwit his energy shield again. Uh -huh. I'm going to running know. shot to here with Martian Manhunter. Scumbag. Scumbag. So it'll be a 10 PD you down Eat. to a Eat. 16. Eat. Eat. Garbage you are, Simeon. Need a 6. Crit miss. That's what you uh, deserve. That is a 6, Scumbag. Rick Jones will die. <laughs> um, I need a token for that because I was incapacitated by someone last turn. Darn right. I wish none of you guys had willpower. I wish you'd all be taking pushing damage. Awesome. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Huh. To shreds, you say. Um, you do. Watch your mouth. Martian Manhunter will perplex up Lex Luthor's range by one. Okay. And he will attempt to shoot... Captain America, yeah. so it's going to be a we'll 10 see. into let's see, 18, 19. 18, 19, PD, and you down 2 and 18. Down, yeah. So I need yeah. an 8. A 8, let's see what happens. Ah. It's kind of, kind of the roll that wins the game, but it's going to miss. Ah. All right. <laughs> uh, dang it. <laughs> I'm not really here to that. That sucks. One, I two, like three, how the yeah. I hit the edge of the map and just stopped uh. at 6. Uh, this is like our shortest game. Ah, uh, no, no. I think, yeah, I think, uh, had we built, like, actual teams out of these sets, rather than votes, it might have turned out different, but, um, yeah. based on votes, based on votes, oh, uh, DC Actually, this is, like, a pretty out. even game, but, yeah, like, losing, um, Ragnarok right away was rough. And to be fair, my rolls were a lot higher than yours consistently. So. Oh, for sure. For sure. Uh, but all right. Another epic Golden Age brawl has come to a close. Reminder, you can vote for what figures we use on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and the comment section of this video. Next week, I will build from Age of Ultron, and Simeon will build from Nick Fury and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. A little double Marvel action going on. Oh, boy. I really, uh, so a figure that I've never been able to play because I never collected it or whatever, I never got the Build-A-Figure Hulkbuster. I always thought it was, like, a cool idea. In practice, it kind of sucked because I, I just didn't have, like, a big enough group at the time to, like, trade and try and get all the pieces. Um, but I don't know. That'd be, like, an interest. It's not amazing. The Hulkbuster isn't. But uh, having, like, the little Iron Man pop out and stuff like that's kind of cool. I don't know. Yeah. I don't own a lot 
from Age of Ochon, the stuff I do own is like Modam, uh, Jocasta, the uh, Captain, the Uncommon Captain America is really good with the uh, pseudo hypersonic, which is really cool. So, yeah, I guess that Hulk that spits out Jane Foster is a very popular uh, call in for me. But yeah, that'd be about all I can think of. Oh, Machine Man, baby. That's the biggest one. Yeah. Machine Man. Heck yeah. I'm... Yeah, there's a right. lot of decent stuff in Age of right. Ultron. Um, yep. I don't know. And obviously, just... if for some reason you feel compelled, I guess you can vote for and Ultron. Ultron. Yeah. Only and Yeah, and Ultron. Build call. Oh, geez. Don't make, me, don't make me play that. Oh, the Quinjet. Oh, I love the Quinjet. Don't make me play an Ant-Man team. The box set is fun. It is good, actually, but like I don't, I don't care. I never owned that box set. I saw it for sale so many times. And I'm like, I just don't care about Hank Pym, like, ugh, who cares? Yeah. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. But alright, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends if you enjoyed it. And as always, guys, it's an Avengers world.